Hey everyone, welcome back. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be doing a power five minute workout. So you can check out the site. Hey everyone, welcome back. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be doing a power five minute workout. So you can check out the science. I'm gonna go ahead and post some of the evidence-based aspects to this in the video description. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get jump right into this. So first we're gonna demonstrate the exercises. So this is essentially a HIIT workout. And the first exercise is gonna be a chair skier speed squat. So essentially, just have a chair like this, arms up like this and then they pump down like that to increase the speed of the squats. Now the work intervals are going to be 15 seconds and the rest periods are going to be 20 seconds and for good reason. We're going to need the rest um, with the intensity of the work intervals. Okay, so once we finish those chair squats, um, we're going to go into jump squats. So essentially it's going to be just like that. Okay, now, if you can't do jump squats, or if, it, or if it's too much impact, you can simply just do regular squats like that, okay, without the jump. It's just three exercises. The last exercise is going to be atomic time trial atomic jackknife push-ups. A couple of modifications here that I'm going to go into. The first off, I'm going to demonstrate how this looks, just as is. Now. This exercise is ideal on this kind of a hard floor because these towels have a real good, they slide. So the jackknife is moving the big towel in a little and then kind of shooting it back out. Now, if you don't have that, um, then just have, just use two paper plates. I even heard uh, furniture movers could work, like depending on the surface, right? So if you have a carpet, then, I don't know if the paper plates over the hands would work. I would say just do the atomic push-ups with just, with, without the uh, upper body jackknife. Now let me demonstrate if those push-ups are difficult. We could do it from the knees. Once again, we're going to do knee push-up, come up to a push-up plank. Knee push-up, come up to a push-up plank. Okay? So, that's, that's the workout. Then after that, we're going to do core. Okay? Alright, so, next we're going to warm up. We're gonna do three sets of 15, okay? So, let's jumping jacks first. Now, I know this is kinda of like, oh, he's warming up, but believe me, when you see the workout, you'll understand why I'm warming up. <laughs> so we're gonna do 15. Okay, now I'm gonna do 15 squats. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, fifteen of those now knee push-ups. Coming back to the jumping jacks. Okay, I'm gonna do 10. So I'm feeling like I'm getting warmed up, so, and the time's getting close to three minutes. <clears throat> Good. 10 of those. We're at a minute and a half, so I think that we're getting close to being ready. And the warm-up is really about just getting the, your body ready, you know? It's about getting the cardiovascular system, 
getting that pump primed. And also, when you're at rest, our blood is typically going to be in our central, right, torso, organs, right? It takes a, it takes a couple minutes for that blood to get out to the, to the peripheral, to the arms and legs, right? So, so we want to be ready. I don't want to have to deal with the body having to try and circulate the blood when it's not already there. So this will be the last set. So I'm pumped. I'm excited for this workout. It's not the warm up that's kind of got me breathing a little now. It's, well, it's a little bit of that, but it's also just the excitement about this workout because this is going to be taxing. I know it is. It's a 10 minute total workout. And I like the song that I picked. So, it's one of those YouTube songs, free songs, but it's the same song that was on the uh, ULL uh, triathlon that I did last year. So, kind of, yeah, it's good motivation. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and get set up, and we're going to kick this thing off. Chair, skier, speed, squats. Okay, now it's go time. Twenty seconds rest. So you want to mellow out during these rest periods, and then when it's time to hit it again, we hit it. Push yeah, that's a mouthful, but you understand it's going to be a breathful. It's going to be 30 seconds rest between rounds. I'm talking less because I want to save every breath. Squats. 
for one sec. Trying to do active recovery. To get the blood circulating back. Core cool workout coming right after this. Jackknife push ups. Next, 
we're done. We're gonna wrap it up. Okay. Oh, that was an awesome workout, man. That was an awesome workout. Uh, you know, you, you can plan it, but then the execution gives you a whole different perspective in terms of what's occurring in the fatigue, in the muscles, and so forth, you know? And uh, that was good. Uh, so I'm getting ready to do a little more cardio. That was my uh, fire starter. Now we're just going to keep it burning. I'm going to hop on the bike. Um, I have an a, a indoor bike. I'm just going to hop on that and go just nice and easy, steady state. Because we've already done the vigorous portion. Now it's time to just uh, coast. So this was the roast. Now comes the coast. So you coast while you roast. It keeps the fire going. You know what I mean? It keeps it burning at a higher rate, even on pedaling at a slower rate. But it was great. It's a great... It's a great metabolism booster, great metabolism starter. Lots of different applications. Also good for your oxygen uh, utilization, you know. The, the air exchange that goes on at, at, on a lung level as well as a tissue level in your muscles, right? It's called AVO2 difference, arterial versus venous oxygen differential. You're going to improve regardless, whether it be at the muscle level or the lung level or both. Either way, it's improvement, and that's awesome. Then you have all these fatigue uh, metabolites like inorganic phosphate, lactate, and many others. And your body improves in its ability to shuttle as well as to clear. So there's metabolic byproduct appearance, and then there's the clearance, right? There's a ratio between how much this accumulates and, and, and appears versus how much clears. So the less it accumulates, that means your body's using it effectively and that improves over time. So anyway, that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Yeah, it's brutal. Awesome workout. Um, excellent execution, good muscle performance in terms of being able to rep out. My goal during those squats and jump squats and push-ups was to do one rep per second or, or greater. In other words, I only have 15 seconds to do, right? I needed to do 15 or more reps to be, to have each rep be one second or less. For the push-ups, that was incredibly hard to do one push-up per second. Uh, but for the jump squats and the chair squats, I was doing like pretty much 15 to 20, which is awesome. You know, that's phosphagen system primarily, 15 seconds. That's what I did my thesis on. I studied strength recovery. So anyway, that's it. Until next time.